All right, let's go. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thank you, Johnny, and welcome, everyone, to another exciting game of Jeopardy! Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. It's time for game 40. My, to my total is $2,208,000. Rolling Stones. <clears throat> the Big Apple. Breakfast cereals. Taking your cue. The Literary World. And here's the final category. It's My Party. Okay. All right, let's get things underway, player one. Certainly, breakfast cereals for 200. It's the breakfast of champions. Player one. What is Wheaties? Exactly. Breakfast cereals for? This cereal's red box features a white rabbit and the words are for kids. Player one. What is Tricks? Yes. And this was in the 2000 College Championship in November, the one that Pam Mueller won. Breakfast cereal, 600. You can snack on the rice or corn varieties of this General Mills cereal or make their party mix. Player one. What is Chex? Precisely. Pick again. Breakfast cereal is 800. This cereal is kid tested, mother approved. Player one. What is Kix? Definitely. And breakfast cereal is a thousand. Sonny, the cuckoo bird, enthusiastically recommends <clears throat> this cereal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Player one. What is Cocoa Puffs? Precisely. Pick again. Uh, taking your cue, 200. As this substance is denser than the human body, you may drown in it, but you won't sink. Player two. What is quicksand? Oh, of course. Definitely. Didn't hit me. Taking your cue for 400. In the 1980s, the Supreme Court approved the use of these in hiring to remedy past discrimination. Player two. What are quotas? Oh. Precisely. Pick again. For some reason, Taking I just thought of that. For 600. For convicted British traders of yore, this procedure followed drawing. Player two, what is quartering? That's it. Hmm. You do know your history. Taking your cue for 800. This Marquis, who wrote a set of boxing rules, also helped bring down Oscar Wilde. Player two, who was the Marquess of Queen's Court? No. Nope. I'm sorry. Anyone? Take a look. Here's the right response. Marcus of Queensberry. Taking your cue for a grand. Some of these objects are the size of one solar system, but brighter than a thousand galaxies. Player one. What are quark stars? No. No. Sorry. Player two. What are quasars? Oh, the other one. Definitely. I'll try the literary world for 200. His novel, Lord Jim, uses the term cat's paws for breezes that ruffle the surface of the sea. Oh, player three. Who is Joseph Conrad? And I just thought Precisely. of that. Precisely. <clears throat> Pick again. The literary world for 400. Of Lord Poop of Pelham, Lord Scroop of Masham, or Lord Surly of Sneer, the one in Henry V. Player three. Who is Scroop? Yes. Hmm. The literary world for 600. The book of Leviticus says of an evildoer, the people of the land shall stone him with these. Player two. What are stones? Huh. Precisely. Pick again. Well, sounds kind of, sounded Let's kind of obvious try. now that I think about it. It's my party for 200. Honest Abe was the first U.S. chief executive from this political party. 
Player two? What is the Republican Party? Oh. Hey, you're correct. It's my party for 400. This country's controversial prime minister, Vajpayee, has been a member of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Player one. What is uh, India? Exactly. All right. Uh, the Big Apple, 200. Home to the Knicks and Rangers, it's one of New York City's largest indoor sports arenas. Player oh. two? What is Madison Square? Of course. Party? Hey, you're correct. The Big Apple for 400. Both located in Queens, they're New York City's two major airports. Player two? What is LaGuardia and John F. Kennedy? Yeah, exactly. I knew JFK, but I didn't know the other one. The Big Apple for 600. At 42nd Street and 5th Avenue, you'll find this great institution guarded by two lions. Player three. What is the New York Public Library? Hey, you're correct. Hmm. I like the literary world for 800. Answer? Oh. The Daily Double. Could you make your way? Showing a rock star while I'm at it, betting 800. In 1741, Calvinist Jonathan Edwards gave his fiery sermon entitled Sinners in the Hands of This. Player three. What is an angry god? Precisely. Hmm. Pick again. The literary world for a thousand? C.S. Lewis chronicled this fantasy world in seven books, beginning with The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Player one. What is, uh... Narnia? That's right. And you seem to know your literature. I know some of it. Uh, Big Apple 800. The answer to the question, how do you get to this hall, is practice, practice, practice. Oh, player three. What is Carnegie Hall? That was not what I was going to say. I'll take the Rolling Stones for 200. He and Keith Richards enjoyed the satisfaction of writing, I can't get no satisfaction. Player two. Who is Mick Jagger? Of course. Hey, you're correct. The Rolling Stones for 400? 400. On the 1978 album, Some Girls, the Stones really worked things with Beast of This. Player two? What is Burden? Hmm. Exactly. The Rolling Stones for 600? The Stones hired this motorcycle gang as guards at their 1969 Altamont concert for $500 in beer. Player one. Who are the, what are the Hell's Angels? Hey, you're correct. Big Apple, a thousand. Named for a Danish settler, it's the only borough on the mainland. Player three. What is the Bronx? Oh. Exactly. I'll take It's My Party for 600. This party took power in England after 18 years on the sidelines when Tony Blair won in 1997. Player two? What is the Labor Party? Hey, you're correct. Hmm. It's my party for 800. A conservative party member in Canada or a loyalist during the American Revolution. Player one. What is Tory? Eggs. All right. It's my party a thousand. Pat Choate was Ross Perot's running mate for this party in 1996. Player two. What is the Reform Party? Hmm. Definitely. <clears throat> I'll try the Rolling Stones for 800. In 1963, the band added this letter to its name, giving it the one it has now. Player one. What is G? Exactly. All right. And the last one? To finish off the round. On Painted Black, Brian Jones played this Indian instrument, like George did on Norwegian Wood. Player two. 
What is the sitar? Hmm. Exactly. That was not what I would have said. I would have said the balalaika. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. You're in the lead, player two. Player, player two has 6,000. I'm not far behind with 5,600. Player and player three has 3,800. Double Jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. <clears throat> Here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. Biblical pairs. The world of science. Really old history. Spears. Bobbing, and to finish the board, film goodbyes. Hmm. I might know the Spears category. Biblical pairs for 400? Created by God to rule the earth in Genesis. Player one. Who are Adam and Eve? Definitely. All right. Um, Biblical Pairs 800. Jesus' earthly parents. Player two, who are Mary and Joseph. Oh, of course. Exactly. Let's go for bobbing for 400. In 1997, this ex-Senate majority leader agreed to loan Newt Gingrich money for his ethics violation fine. Player two, who is Bob Dole? Hmm. Definitely. Bobbing for 800? He teamed with Bing in the road movies. Player one. Who's Bob Hope? Exactly. Uh, bobbing 12? Eric Clapton's hit, I Shot the Sheriff, was written and recorded earlier by this reggae star. Player three. Who is Bob Marley? Oh. Hey, you're correct. Let's go for really old history for 400. This city's Circus Maximus Hippodrome could hold 250,000 people, about one fourth of its population. Player two, what is Rome? Oh, exactly. Really old history for 800. From 434 to 445, Bleda ruled the Huns jointly with this man, his brother. Player one. Who is Attila? Yes. Uh, bobbing 1600. This golfer won his first of four U.S. Opens in 1923. Player one. Who is Bobby Jones? Precisely. All right. Pick again. Bobbing 2000. Longtime host of The Price is Right. May he rest in peace. Who is Bob Barker? Yes. Royal History 1200. Early Lydian coins were made from electrum, an alloy of silver and this other precious metal. Player one. What is uh, gold? Precisely. Mm-hmm. Like again. Royal History 1600. This highest civil office of old Venice originated in the 7th century and got its first palace in 814. Anyone at all? No. Take a look. The Doge. Here's the right response. Um, Royal History 2000. Under this Latin name, the island once called Albion went on to rule the waves. Player two. What is Britannia? Hmm. Precisely. Pick again. Let's go for biblical pairs for 1,200. Answer? Oh. The Daily Double. <laughs> Could you make your wager, please? 7,500. Harry couple from Judges 16. Player two? Who are Ruth and Boaz? Oh, that's it. No. Take a look. Samson and Delilah. Oh. I caught a break. The world of science. For 400. This liquid makes up about 20% of a bone's weight, as opposed to about 60% of the weight of the entire body. 
Player one. What is water? Exactly. Uh, biblical pair 1600. The sons of Rebecca. Player one. Who are Jacob and Esau? Definitely. Again, I'm trying to be a little less dependent on the Clue History site, but that doesn't mean I'm going to chuck it completely. Pairs 2000. God and Jesus are called by these two Greek letters in Revelation. Player one. What are Alpha and Omega? Precisely. Uh-huh. Pick again. Uh, World of Science 800. The Chinese did a bang-up job in discovering its formula as 75% saltpeter, 15% charcoal, and 10% sulfur. Oh. What is gunpowder? And that's what I was going to say. Definitely. I'd like film goodbyes for 400 In a 1965 epic, this Omar Sharif character keeps getting separated from his beloved Laura. Player two? Who is Dr. Zhivago? Exactly. Hmm. Film goodbyes for 800? In Casablanca, this Bogart character reminds Ilsa as they part, we'll always have Paris. <sighs> Player two? Who is Rick Blaine? He's the one we were hmm. looking for. Yes. <clears throat> Film goodbyes for 1,200? Answer? The other daily, daily double. double. Did you make your way for please? All of it. This actor keeps parting and getting back together with Andy McDowell in Four Weddings and a Funeral. Player two? Who is Ray Fines? No. No. Bad. Not Ray oh, Fines. Hugh Grant. Grant. Film goodbyes for sixteen hundred. In this film, Monty Cliff says goodbye to Donna Reed and returns to duty as Pearl Harbor is attacked. Player two? What is from here to eternity? Hey, you're correct. Hmm. Film goodbyes for 2000. In the seven-year itch, Tom Ewell says goodbye to his wife and starts flirting with this actress. Player one. Who is Marilyn Monroe? Precisely. It was the only one I knew. Pick again. Uh, World of Science 1200. Glossolalia, non-meaningful speech, is also called speaking in these. Player two. What are tongues? Hmm. Definitely. Why did I? Why was I thinking that? And just how about spears for 400? This Olympic sport could also be called spear throwing. Player one. What is the javelin? Precisely. Pick again. Uh, Spears eight. The spear was an emblem of Ares, the Greek god of this. Player one. What's war? Definitely. Spears twelve. A piece of equipment you may use in this underwater sport is the Hawaiian sling. Player one. What is spear fishing? Precisely. Pick again. Spear 16. The famous formation of Greek foot soldiers who carried spears up to 20 feet long. Player one. What is phalanx? Yes. Uh, Spears 2000. The British used these cavalry troops in the Sikh and Afghan wars and to crush the Sepoy rebellion. Player one. What are Bengal Lancers? Precisely. Pick again. World of Science 16. The tallest dog is the Irish variety of this hound. Player one. What is a Basset Hound? Oh, uh, that's it. No. Player two. What is Wolf Hound? Hmm. That's the critter we're looking for. <laughs> and last one wrap up this board at standard pressure it's the boiling point of water on the Fahrenheit scale in degrees player three what is 212 degrees yeah I just thought of that definitely 
So I have this one out of reach. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again. Player one, you've got the lead going into final jeopardy. You're still in the thick of it, player three. No, he's you not. Back in the game. 7,800 for player three, 4,400 for player two. It's that time, folks. Final jeopardy. We'll take a look at the category, then give you a few seconds to think about your wager. And it is? Presidential relative. Hmm. Go ahead, make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. Twenty two hundred. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Thank you. The Washington Post once described him as the mother of all embarrassing brothers. Zachary Taylor. Let's see how everyone did. Your question, player two. B. Carter. You are. Oh. Is your wager. Your question, player three. Edward no, said Kennedy. I'm no. Sorry. Oh, it's Billy That's Carter. Okay. So I'm wrong, but it doesn't matter. Your question? Oh, sorry. That's incorrect. How much did it cost? So I took a small hit, 2200 but I still win with 20600 Congratulations to our winner. Player one. So that's 2228600 Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon, won't you? Bye, Alex. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get a few details out of the way before we start our game. So a bit of a modest win for me, 20,600, but I don't care, you know. I'm also trying to be a little less dependent on the Clue History site, and I like to think I was. So I don't really care how much I win, it's just just as long as I win. I actually got some lucky breaks with the, with the two daily doubles that uh, Player 2 missed. But nonetheless, I have won another one, and I am very glad about it. So, with that being said, I will have game 41 up soon. UH softball is officially over. If you haven't, be sure to go check out the. Uh, be sure to go check out my recap. I also have to do my uh, recap of the Philly Supercross with uh, the Salt Lake City finale this coming Saturday, and I will be around to see that. So, anyway, guys. That's all for today. And remember, subscribe. That's how this channel grows. And I will see you all for game 41.